Father and Son and Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. Today we celebrate together, actually today is the commemoration of Son Shimon, Mar Shimon Bar Sabai. We celebrate together the Holy Eucharist, the body and of, um, blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. In this occasion of commemoration of, son, of Mar Shimon Bar Sabai, which is the church is under his name, uh, usually at this period actually in August 17 the church is celebrated the commemoration of Mar Shimon Bar Sabai our patriarch who was patriarch let us say in the beginning uh, in the mid of the fourth century Mar Shimon Bar Sabai was actually student of Papa Bar Haggai uh, in, uh, in, in Saleh of Tuspun which is in south of Iraq he was later accused of being a friend of the Roman Emperor and of maintaining a secret uh, correspondence with him. On that basis, Shabur II, who was the Emperor of the Persians in that time, uh, uh, he ordered the execution of the all Christian uh, Christian uh, priests because. He, uh, he especially refused to worship to the son. Shimon was beheaded with the several thousands, including bishops, priests, and faithful. If you look to the problem at that time, that when the Constantine, you know, became the Roman Emperor and, uh, and Roman Empire, uh, he became uh, Emperor 2074 to 337. And he was Gentile, and his mother, Helene, was Christian. In the, 13, uh, in the three, 313, actually, he issued an important decree. They call it Edict of Melan, which he declared religious freedom. But in that time, in the East, uh, which the British Empire, the king was Shabur II, as we say it, since 300, uh, 309 till 379. Since the Edict of Milan 30, uh, 313, there was a radical change in the situation of the Christian in, in, the, in the Western region. Christian who were yesterday under persecution and after th uh, 313, they were actually enjoying the protection of the state at that time. But the Persian Empire, the official religion was Zoroastrianism uh, or uh, Almazi, Raz, uh, uh, we call it uh, 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 Raz, uh, uh, Zoroastrianism, which is Zoroastria, the Parakhlach. The Christian hadn't been persecuted as long as the Western, they were under, uh, <coughs> under pagan religion they were gentile actually but since the situation was changed completely since the christianity become official roman religion they uh, they started consider the christian and their empire which is the empire of the persians they call it the royal to the roman empire because they were christian like them that's why uh, they were under persecution the Christian at that time they tried many times to prove to prove to the emperor their sincerity to their country, but they didn't succeed actually. In, thir in 337, when the Constantine passed away, the Persian emperor Shavur found the chance to retain all lands that they took by the Roman Empire at that time. He went to the Nasibin, which is in the south of Turkey, close to the Syria, and he besieged the city for more than 60 days. But he didn't succeed uh, because the Constantine II, who was emperor of the Roman Empire, 337 to 361, 
rushed to the its rescue. This fellow has insulted in that time to the prayers of the son James, Bishop of Nasebin, and the prayer of the son Apron, the doctor of the city at that time. After he came back, actually, the, uh, the, emperor, the Persian emperor imposed heavy taxes on the Christian and he ordered our patriarch Marshimun Bar Sabai to force his people to double taxes. Our patriarch actually refused that because our people were poor people in that time and they cannot actually afford to pay such a taxes and uh, because uh, of the huge amount. The British Emperor forced our patriarch to collect the taxes from his people by himself. And again, our patriarch refused that order. With this refusing, the king became angry because of that, and he ordered to arrest our patriarch on hold and all his assistants from bishop and priests. And they brought them to him in, Af uh, in Afaz region, which is in south, let us say so south of, uh, of, uh, of Iran uh, and close to Iraq. There were about 103 people, include our patriarch, and a lot of, and a lot of churches and houses of God has been destroyed uh, in that time by people because of the persecution. After investigation which uh, with them, finally the king issued the death penalty in a Passover day, which is April 13, 341. They spent whole night, they spent their night in the prison and they were in prayer whole night. In the morning in the Great Friday, the king commanded to, to beating their neck by soul. From, the, from that moment, the persecution started for 40 years. A lot of believers had been killed exactly as we seen it in the past, those years that we seen it in our back home. The, our people, as a Christian people, they were under persecution because they were Christian. Those idiot people, they were thinking that because we are Christian and the Western, they are Christian too, they were actually, our loyalty and our sincerity was for them more than for our country. That's why we've seen that in the many years and before also, our people, they were under persecution as we've seen it uh, during the Ottoman Empire uh, in, the in, the uh, in the World War I actually, when we saw the Ottoman Empire, they declared the war against the Christian because uh, they were thinking too, uh, the Christian and their uh, country, uh, their loyalty actually was for the Christian in, in Russia, the Christian in, uh, in the different country. That's why they were under persecution because they were, they were Christian. That's how Christianity actually grew in the, uh, in the East, actually, especially in our country. And the Mesopotamia, you know, we see our patriarch Marshimun Basabai was killed because of the persecution, and many, many, many of the bishops and and, and priests and, uh, and and also lay lay people they were called in that time for the four years. But because of uh, the word of God, because of the power of God, after four years, after the uh, Shabur second die. The church actually grow again with prosperity, with power of God, with the Holy Spirit. That's why if you look to the history of the church, we see in, in 410, the church actually healed the first council. We, we call it the Knusha Sunadikaya, uh, an entire of the church with more, uh, with, uh, let us say, with, strength, uh, with power and more uh, strong and uh, as before because of the word of God. That's how Christianity actually grow in our country in Mesopotamia. May our Lord, uh, may, our, uh, may the day of our Lord be blessed uh, with you always and that's why let us all kneel down and ask our Lord to forgive our trespasses and our sins 
and make us worthy to receive in this occasion the commemoration of Marshman as Bar Sabai, the body and of our blood, uh, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Tap a Maric Nan and Basimo to Tobo Haldan Regamato, Shaklip and Pier Kudata, Madras Kahaye, the Tiauta, Mkhadad Gao, who had Tisha Pistatime, Birium of Kurkana, Sapin of Betkanan, Mikula Tapalo to Busra of Roha, Makwe Hivida Manuta Behaya to Taibuto, Mtar Sadaria to Dobari to the Devata Zatipota, Basmutan and Patisha Malkutu, Makudi, the Manuta Simonea, Busam Ras and Pahlano to Tonghailan about the Trahmo had not Ripudano. مکملی رزای مودو لس خادم شوگوش مقدس مارکول بابا برونا و روح کوچان آمین.